Welcome back, Fireflies. This is part three of our accordion style journal. And just a little recap what we've done. We've completed the, the base of it, the cover. Uh, we've added our window page pocket. We've stitched in our signatures. And so now I thought it would be really fun on the front and back of each of these to start adding in our pockets and um, you know, interesting flips and things. So, my thinking is, <clears throat> let me just zoom out here, and I'll share with you guys one little bit of envelopes I've got here that I keep in a basket, and this is just a, a, a wide assortment of uh, some of the envelopes that and bags and things that I've acquired. So I thought it would be really fun to carry on with uh, various envelopes um, because they're a great way to use as a base and um, they're inexpensive and sometimes it can be a little bit easier for people to to start with this as a base than rather um, you know a lot of times I will make my own and just cut them out but if you've got them why not use them um, and I do need to dwindle this down so I had already kind of made my mind up that it would be nice to have this one opening as a flip. Um, and then I thought, I've got this little tiny one, which is about a two and three quarter by three and three quarter. And maybe have this one here um, underneath so that that would flip open. And if I just snip that off, I could have a tag in there. And then I'll probably build some pockets on here as well. So I think two of these are going to be enough by the time we've built onto that. And then once this is down, I'm going to have to give some thought on how to cover that um, as well because I don't want to see that and then you know I generally don't use these the way the envelopes are made. I just don't like the look of it. I prefer to cover all of this with some of the coordinating papers and then come in. Um, I think this one would be nice to, to, to open this up at the top, have a large tag in here and then we can we can either put pockets, you know, we'll just see. We'll just get started um, gluing these down and, and go from there. Um, just trying to think the best way to do this. I think I, before I glue it down, I'm going to go ahead and cover these. And, and that way, if I want to do any machine, machine stitching, I can do that before it's adhered. So let's just take these two and that will give you an idea of what how I'm going to go carry on with this and finish it. Um, and then what I'll probably do is the part four, I think I will come in as it is completed and then share with you any other uh, interactive things I've done because otherwise this will just turn into a really long project and I like to I like to keep moving on to other things. Um, all right so let's just get started here and get our supplies out. I've got uh, a coordinating paper here that will you know we've also got these off cuts I've just kept everything together uh, so we could just make a start and see how it starts to look. So two and three eighths. And I'm going to need to cut two of those. I'm allowing about a, um, 
a quarter of an inch <coughs> border. Now yours will vary because you'll be using a different size envelope. And you don't have to use this envelope. Um, it's just, I think, often it's easier <coughs> to start with this. Now, if you don't want to do that, obviously just take your paper and fold it over and add a hinge to it. Um, it could be done that way as well. All right, <coughs> let me start with this large paper. I'll get some of this. So I've been collecting some avocado skins, and I'm intending to do some avocado dyeing uh, this week. So I'm really excited about that. I do like I I it's I do enjoy avocado dyeing. <laughs> Go figure. Um, it's the tea dyeing that, oh, oh boy, I put that off to the last minute. I always, always do. Um, but both of those tasks I have to, I have to get on the ball this week and do. I put it off as long as I can. Now see, that's going to show some of that and that's going to bother me. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut a, I'll tell you what I'll do. I've got these strips. I'm just going to cut that at six inches. I believe that will work. And I'm not going to worry about the white because I'm just going to stick that down in there. And I'm going to glue that. Actually, I just got to take just. A little, little bit off of there. Um, it's just I don't want to see that. Uh, it just kind of finishes things off a little bit nicer. So we're having some very typical January weather. Uh, very gray at the moment. Um, cold, we've had a cold uh, snap, which I personally am okay with, other than um, with the damp. Um, it does, you know, well, you know, it's a very different kind of cold to uh, some place like Colorado, where you've got that dry. This just goes right through you. Um, but the cold, I don't mind. <clears throat> it's the gray skies, you know. It can really start to uh, get people down. So, you know, you're just fe really feeling for everybody at the moment because it's with so much going on and then adding on to it uh, weeks and weeks on the end of gray. It's, um, it's not very nice. I'm hoping that maybe we'll get a little break with some sunshine and blue skies. I think that would lift everybody's spirits a lot. Um, but do, you know, do take care of yourselves, guys. It's uh, it's not easy, I know, to keep, keep up um, your spirits with everything going on, but I, I do hope each of you are finding some way to cope during these challenging times. Oh boy, I've made a big old mess. Okay, I'm going to start over. I've made a mess of that, guys. <laughs> ah, goodness. I think it was putting that glue on there too soon. So, I'm going to start over. And isn't that the beauty of it? It's, it's only glue. So let's go with a glue stick this time and see if I can get a little better result with that. I just want to make sure I get it down well because we're going to be sliding a um, a tag in and out of this. And I don't want it catching on that. Okay. Oh, that was painful, huh? 
better because that way I can keep that covered. And don't worry, we will come back and ink over these edges. Um, it's just getting these covered. And then I've got this other piece, so three, two, five. And you'll be happy to know that before I started this video, you know I've been complaining about my space. And I came in this morning to do, I knew, you know, I needed to get this this made. And I just thought, I, I, mean, I can't even work in this space until I've dealt with it. So I did get around, guys, and I've reorganized my crafting space and cleaned it. I took some um, nice smelling natural cleaner and just gave it a really good clean and it just makes such a difference. So I would say if you're in a bit of a funk, maybe start with um, just something simple like reorganizing your space. And I, I just, you know, you get done and you think, why didn't I think about this sooner? Um, it makes so much more sense the way I've got it now. And uh, if you guys are interested, maybe I'll do a, a little craft tour. Um, I don't have a particularly, I mean, I'm very, very proud of my space, I am, but it's not, um, you know, some of these that you see on Pinterest, that's not my space, <laughs> um, but I'm so happy to have it because I've never, ever had my own space that's designated, you know, just for, um, for crafting and so I love it, I love it, and I try to add little things to it when I can. Okay, so... I do think I'm going to snip that along the top, which I know I'll have to probably run it through the machine to get that to um, hold together. Yeah. I'll just put a little bit of glue down here. Okay, so that's fine. So that kind of gives you an idea how that's going to look now. Oh, that's good. That worked out really, really well there. And so I would probably leave that because that's a very pretty image. And then here, because um, you'll have a tag in here, and I think here just a little pocket. Or it could flip again if you wanted to do that. I could even make another flip for another pocket. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm quite happy with that. And then this will close. And then we just need to do now this one. I could have it flipping down. Hmm. No, I like the idea of that opening up that way, I think, because we can have... Okay, so that's what we're going to do. All right, so I said I need to cut these pieces for this. I've got some of these. Mm. No, I'll just stick with this one. I'm, I'm happy with this. So, the length, you can probably get that, so two and three eighths. Oh, let me change that, because I don't want to cut that image there. 
Okay, let me just do this, start this over here. That's fine. Okay. That's going to flip over. Okay, guys. And again, I'm just going to snip along the top to open that up so that we can have a tag in there. So if you just think in terms of when we created this um, altered file folder, how we just began to build the flips, that's going to be the same thing within this. Um, like I said, I'll show you how this front page comes out. And then that will be the way that I'll carry on throughout it. Because I've kept the pages plain, um, I will come back and put some little butterflies at the center of those signatures. I just thought it would be nice to have all of this just purely writing space, but then have pockets over here so that, you know, you can add tags to it or memorabilia, because all of this is for um, journaling in and uh, you collect things along the way. So I do want to have little places within it so that that can be done as well without using up our paper, you know, the, the signature portion of it. Okay, so let's go ahead now and get these glued in where I want them, and then I'll have to come back then and decide. Oh, I'll tell you what, uh, I am going to stitch this, guy. so let me go do some sewing on the machine, and then I will come back and we'll start working on the next um, portion. Okay hey guys, I have run that through the machine and then just um, 
stuck a tag down in there just <clears throat> to make sure what size was going to fit. Okay, I like that. Now, get that open. Let's just cover this. I'm going to go seven and three quarter, and just want to make sure I covered this. And I want to try to keep this image. That was why I messed around. I thought that would be really pretty. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now, if you wanted, you could stitch around this before you glue this piece down. I'm not going to because the chances are this is probably going to have a envelope. I mean envelope. I'm probably going to end up wanting to put some sort of pocket Probably want to put a pocket down here. Okay, so I want to do some kind of image here. Okay guys, so got this down now and I know I want to do something here so I have just cut out a little piece here. I've run it through an embossing folder. I've got some cheesecloth and just going to put a little bit of glue there, get our cheesecloth down and I'm going to take a bit of twine as well. And I've cut out a little butterfly here. And then this little um, little 
word cut out. I just think this was a bit plain and I, I, I think it needed something, so I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so now you can see it's got a little bit of dimension to it. So, yep, that's coming along nice now. This, I think I'll do a pocket here, and I think I'm going to do something here. And then these, I can come back later and embellish the tags to that. So, just go ahead <coughs> and make something for this one. Okay guys, I've just got um, some of the scraps and I'm going to just layer this and run it through the machine, make sure that that's going to fit. Actually, I'll have to turn that down a little bit. Okay, let me see if I've got something else to add to that. <clears throat> I feel like there needs to be something else there, so let me look through my 
items here. Let's see if I can come up with something. These are some other really pretty um, faux postage stamps, and this is by um, Musings by Nikki. Uh, if you've been following me for a while, you probably will have seen me work with these before, but I'm thinking about something like one of these would be pretty there. Yeah, let me see how that looks. So this is definitely going to very much be a butterfly themed nature um, journal. Yeah, and it's coming along very pretty there. And then let me go ahead and make something. Let's see, what do I want to do here? Hmm, let me think. Okay, I think I'm going to try to <coughs> create another little window. Element to go on this. I think this, that would look uh, nice if I could come up with something. Here, that's still a little bit long. Turn that down. All right, so what I'm going to do is a window and Maybe put some butterflies floating within that, um, is my thinking. If I don't come up with an image, I don't know, something. I don't, <clears throat> just bear with me, guys. Let me see how I can. Three and an eighth. Alright, so what I've done is I've cut two pieces of paper, and you can see I'm going to have to come back and trim that down. But those just cut two pieces the same size, which are five and a half by three and an eighth. And that's not accounting for the little hinge. And so this now, what I'm going to do is put this through. Sorry, will I? Cut out make sure I get these exact and we will cut out a shape out of there.
Sorry guys, I've just purchased these and uh, I've never had them come like this before. Mm, I hope these are going to be okay. They don't look like they're going to be great quality. Oh dear. Alright, so I'm going to line these up. That would help if I had my cutting mat, wouldn't it? Uh, do you want to do that? No, that's too much. Okay. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to get there. It's just taking me a minute to get this organized here. I should have did this prior, but I thought in case any of you haven't made window envelopes or window um, things before, I'll just go ahead and put it on camera. So now I've got that cut. I hope I got that centered. And then we're just going to need to double up this acetate. guys at this point let me shut off the camera because I need to find the right image to go inside this and I will be right back okay guys I have cut out a couple of little butterflies here I've got a couple of images here and I'm going to show you what we're going to do <laughs> because this is a window I want to make sure that there's something on both sides when it flips over to view. Um, and I didn't want to just have the little butterflies. So I thought we would come up something a little bit different to go inside of there. And I'm hoping that this is going to look nice so that it will kind of be floating.
guys. Let's get this down. Because that pocket was just a little bit plain, I think. And that, you know, it's just something pretty. And then here, this could be covered if that's in fact I think I will cover that because I don't want to look at that white strip, so I'm just gonna put that down. Okay, so yeah, I'm liking how that's coming out, guys. I think that's that's what I wanted, and of course now I can carry on here. I could do some flip pockets. Um, I might just do like a large coin envelope on one. We've got these back here to fill, and then of course this space, and then coming over here, I've got this one and this one. So the next thing you will see is a flip through of this being completed. And of course you'll see all of the interesting things that I add to it. Um, and then I can just give you a description. But they will all be based really on this same sort of thing that we've done in the past. And you've probably dealt, done this sort of thing before. But um, yeah, very, very happy. Um, with this little project. These are great. I cannot wait to make some more of these in some different colors. Um, so yeah, thanks so much guys for uh, sticking with me on this part. I'm sorry it was a little bit chopped up, but it just it couldn't be helped. I had a couple things happen that I had to stop. But anyways, uh, on the next part you will see this in uh, completion. And we'll see how much it bulks up because, yeah, it's already filling out nicely. So, okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying that. I can't wait to see what you guys create. Take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye.